so today I will be opening and showing you what's inside this Castle Arts 120 premium soft colour soft touch coloured pencil set so this set has 120 pencils in it and it comes in a zip up pouch and you can get it in just the tin it's a little bit cheaper if you don't want it in the pouch but the pouch does keep them all nice and organized and safe it's quite quite a solid pouch so let's just unzip it see what's inside so inside we have lots of little leaflets one here is a coloured pencil tutorial to do if you fancy drawing that ship that's on the front of the packaging so inside this leaflet is just a step-by-step -step tutorial for that this leaflet shows all the other products that Castle Art sells. We have all sorts of different coloured pencils including watercolour pencils, pastel tints, metallics, woodless watercolours, they do brush pens, gel pens, different types of paint including watercolour, acrylic, oil paint, fabric paint, they have some different drawing and sketching sets here as well and then inside that leaflet is all the different colours that all the paints and pencils come in there's a key at the top so you can see follow the key see which colours come in the different mediums Here is a guide to coloured pencils, all sorts of information in there, how to use your pencils, different colour wheels, inspiration, things you can do with them. Now these pencils, these um, soft touch coloured pencils are wax based. So while we're here on this page, there's a little bit about wax bloom here so what wax bloom is is a cloudy film caused by the natural oxidation of the wax as it's exposed to the air but it's easily removed by gently wiping a soft dry tissue or cloth across the surface so that happens with wax based pencils it doesn't happen with oil based but at the end it says once you've finished the work spray it with a fixative or art varnish to prevent further bloom so after I've used these pencils I will spray it with um, a fixative and it just stops that slightly white cloudy film forming over your finished piece now some people sometimes use her spray I have heard him saying that but the problem with her spray is it can turn your page a little bit yellow so it might not do it straight away it might do it after a while so I can't really recommend that because you don't want to ruin your art after by uh, spraying it with her spray and then it's it's turns it a bit yellow it also makes the page quite like crispy and stiff which you might not want so I would recommend actually going and getting a, a can of the proper stuff made for spraying your work with so there's some other things in the booklet different techniques you can use with your pencils blending the colours together 
all sorts of things you can try with it and then there's a glossary at the back just in case you want to there's all sorts of different words there you might not know what they mean but that explains them all little leaflet about castle arts there and while we're here i will put a link with this video that if you use my code if you're in the uk and you go to the castle arts uh, website the uk one and you put my code sophie colors in the basket at the checkout you will get 20 percent off so i'll put a link with the video and the code so that you can do that if you fancy it also we get a colour pencil tester sheet now all the numbers and the names of the colours are printed on here so you can swatch all your colours and the benefit of that is you can see how they will look when they're on the paper because sometimes the colour that's actually painted on the pencils isn't quite the same as how it would look once it's on the paper so this just makes that easier and also you can see all your colours together it's just easier to pick out which colour you you might like which colour you're looking for sometimes you see a colour that you weren't going to choose but you see it here and think oh that'll do that's nice so what we'll be doing today is colouring in this and the pencils here they are in this case these are all the colours and all the pencils have the name of the colour written on and the colour number and at the end there it says soft touch because if you've got any other Castle Arts pencils you won't get it mixed up with the other sets that they do like the pastel tints or the, the gold st uh, set the gold set are oil based pencils so if you fancy that I'll just get one to compare it see this is a gold from the gold set so the difference is in the gold set it says gold at the end and the writing's in gold so you don't get them mixed up but I think we'll probably be able to use them together there's a few different colours in this set there's about when I've had a quick look at the different colours there's about 30 different shades in this set compared to what you get in the gold set so 30 different colours than what I've already got in my other set so these are all the colours nicely set out in this pouch and also in this pouch in the middle here just take that out there's a little elastic bit here where you could fit something like an eraser would fit in that would fit in there that would close if you have a small pencil sharpener that could also fit in there just a little bit of extra space for you to fit something in there to keep it safe so the pencils are not quite in the order that this chart is so as i go along i'm gonna have to make sure that i have got the right pencil that i'm coloring the right box in with the right colour so as I go along that will organise all my pencils into colour order to correspond with this chart so let's have a go at that so the first colour is Naples Yellow Light let's find that one Here. okay and 
they have been already pre-sharpened but they're not at a really pointy point you can use them straight away so just give them a tiny little sharpen in the sharpener make that pointy now i'm gonna color in the boxes all one solid color now i know some people like to color it darker at one end and lighter at the, at the other to show how it changes from pressing hard to pressing light with the colour but as I press quite hard all the time I'm just going to colour them solid colours each box because I can imagine how it looks if I press it a little bit lighter anyway so that's the first colour done and very pale, very pale yellow. Ah. So that is the first one. The second, I'll go along to this one. Um, let's find that colour. This one is a deeper yellow, sharpen that point a little bit too much. And they're laying down quite a nice bold colour. They are soft touch but they're not too soft, they're not like they're not smooshing up because I press really hard really when I colour so that's quite good for me that I can apply quite a bit of pressure without the point going all mushy So that is the second one done and I'm just going to continue now to colour the rest of these boxes. Quite pleased with the colour, it's a nice deep, nice deep yellow that. Yeah I think these will work quite well together with the, the oil based pencils, these wax ones. I think I can probably use them both together on the same piece of artwork so I'll just continue now and colour the rest Okay, so that is my colour pencil tester sheet swatch card finished. And I'm quite pleased with that. The colours are, I know it's sometimes quite hard to see, 
on the camera because the light reflects it but all the colours are quite vibrant bold bright colours and this this card is quite smooth but they go on they go on really well so they'll probably work even better in my colouring books that I colour in um, I'll just show you a comparison to the 120 gold range set that's the colour chart there I would say maybe these look a little bit brighter there are some different colours in each set I think in this set there's more greys and browns maybe in this set more brighter bolder colours but I think I'll probably use use them together when I'm colouring I think they'll, they'll work well together so because this is a wax based set I will be fixing it after so that it doesn't get the wax bloom I'll be using this Winsor & Newton fixative spray but I'll go and spray that outside it does say to use it in a well ventilated area you can get this online um, if you're in the UK I got this from the range they have all sorts of craft stuff art and craft stuff in the range that's where I got that from they do have smaller tins if you don't want to spend as much money you just want to get a little tin and try it so I'll spray that outside tomorrow when it's not raining just prevents that wax bloom from farming so they don't get that whitish layer happening um i'm quite pleased with them can't wait to use them next time next time i'm coloring so thank you for watching my review on these pencils and i'll see you next time